Let's go ahead and do this one too. So we got x is less than negative 5, so let's look at the equation x is negative 5. Okay, so we're just going to graph that line, and then we'll still test a point. So x is equal to negative 5, that would, x is negative 5 right here, where that black point is. So if I just make a vertical line right there, I'm a little off, but I'll fix it. There we go. So this is our line, but it's not equal to, so we know also that this line is a dashed line, something like this. And we can still test the point zero, zero. So there's no y to replace in this. So I'm just going to replace the x with zero. Is zero less than negative five? That's false. So I need to shade the other side of that line. Right here. Now let's look at y is equal to three. y is equal to three right here. So that's going to be a horizontal line because y is 3 all on that line. And we can make that a dashed line as well because it's not equal to. There we go. We can still test the point 0, 0, but we're only going to replace the y. And is 0 greater than 3? That is also false. So we'll shade the other side of that line up on the top. And we can see that only the blue shaded area would be the answer. So if we just considered these without worrying about all that other stuff, right, we got x is less than negative 5. Well, that gave us the black line right there, right? So any values of x less than negative 5 would make this statement true kind of like we would on the number line, that would give us all these values to the left. But this is two-dimensional, so we just shade it in to the left of that line. On the other hand, we had y is greater than 3, which gave us this purple line right here. And any y value that's greater than 3 would be above it, so we shade it above that line, giving us where it crosshatches right here.